Hello, Kiralee here. And as you would have seen from the title, I'm here to talk with you about being free from mental lockdown by being grateful or giving thanks. But before you go on, because you might think, look, I'm not in the mood. Don't you know, we, I live in Melbourne and we've been in lockdown the longest of anywhere in the world. Yeah, I know, but just hold on, hold on. Not wanting anyone to become a Pollyanna. And if you're not sure what a Pollyanna is, um, a Pollyanna is an excessively cheerful or optimistic person. So no, not asking you to become Pollyanna. Neither am I going to be talking about toxic positivity. And toxic positivity is really just an obsession with positive thinking. So no, we're not going there. And we're not going to um, demean the grief that you may be experiencing right now, or the pain, or trying to ignore your negative emotion. None of that's going to happen. But I do ask you to listen. Because being grateful, giving facts, showing gratitude is actually a very positive thing for you and I to do. Okay, so the first, the first quote I'd like to read is from the Harvard Business School from October 2020. And it says, when we express gratitude, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin. These two hormones are the ones that make us feel lighter and happier inside. So that's good. And then there's another list of positive benefits of gratitude from Dr. Caroline Leaf. She is a um, cognitive neuroscientist. So from her, she says also that gratitude reduces pain. A study in 2003 revealed that patients who kept a gratitude journal reported reduced pain symptoms compared to those who didn't. And another, gratitude improves sleep quality. And how does this happen? Well, it activates the hypothalamus, which controls sleep. So that's good. And another point, gratitude aids in stress regulation. A study showed that participants who felt grateful showed a marked reduction in the level of cortisol. And cortisol is the stress hormone. So that's good, isn't it? Now, what does the Bible say? Well, I'm going to read to you Philippians 4, 6 and 7, and I'm reading from the NLT. And it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Did you hear it? Thanksgiving. Paul is admonishing us to share thanksgiving with God, then we will not be anxious and rather we will have peace. It sounds very similar to what we've already heard, doesn't it? And then finally, an article from positivepsychology.com called The Neuroscience of Gratitude and How It Affects Anxiety says that our brain cannot focus on positive and negative information at the same time. So have I convinced you yet that it's worthwhile finding something to be grateful for? Something, one thing, a little thing. It doesn't have to be the same as what I might be thankful for or the next person is thankful for, but something that you can be thankful for and I can guarantee that when you do, it's going to lift your mood and you'll feel brighter and happier. It's, and look, the pain, all your pain, grief may not go away, but you're not going to have the same feeling of anxiety about it either. So isn't it worth it to give it a go? So find, I encourage you to find one thing right now that you can be thankful for and then keep going every day, find one thing. And maybe you'll then go to the advanced class to find two or three. Masterclass, keep doing it. So 
look, I will just share, you know, the green here of spring. I, I just love it and I notice it and I've noticed the leaves coming out and how when they first come out, they actually look like lace because they're so fine and so delicate. And I've just been really, really thankful for that. And it is going a little bit too far, but I'm almost thankful for lockdown because I've never noticed that really lacy delicateness, delicateness of leaves coming out. Anyway, look, God bless. And I really do encourage you that whatever you're going through will be benefited if you take some time just to give thanks for something. Alrighty. God bless. Hope to see you soon.